Well, another week has passed and uh, a whole pile of work has been done in our kitchen. Uh, what you'll notice is that all the studs are gone, the whole wall has been removed, the wires have been moved up just like we said. Um, another interesting thing here is that you'll notice that the pipes are gone that were in the corner. Like we're having what will be what's called a waterfall countertop. So we had to uh, remove and the, the uh, workers that came in had to re-terminate all of these wires and they ran it along this pipe, up through this wall, and then back up. And here's where it connects up again and goes up to the uh, top floors for the phone connections for everybody in this entire stack. We had to have an engineer's pr approval for that as well. Um, and we've already got gyprock back on the walls. The, the, it was right until Friday afternoon they were just putting it back together. One of the miracles about this whole thing was it, while it took about three days to get the electrical permit, just the permission to do, redo the wiring, once we got that the electric, electricians came in and with about three, three and a half days I think it was of work, uh, they did all of the work, it's all behind the walls here. We've got all of our new outlets there's the one for the vacuum cleaner, the microwave goes here, uh, the fridge is going to go over here, um, and of course that's just a countertop outlet, and then the, the, uh, the sorry, the oven and the, uh, the cooktop and all that, you can see these wires sticking out that they're going to power that. And of course the bundle of wires here has to do with the dishwasher. So there's a lot of work that's gone on behind the walls, you know, and, and so it doesn't look very, uh, like a lot has happened in here, when, when in reality also we have a new water connection here that comes down with a ball valve that's going to feed the refrigerator for our uh, ice maker and all of that stuff. So starting tomorrow morning, they're going to come in. Uh, that today's Sunday, so they're coming in tomorrow and they're going to be working on uh, finishing the the drywall, getting it to the point where it's ready to uh, accept the the cabinets, and they want to have uh, the lower cabinets in uh, in here as well. They want to have the lower cabinets in by. If it's not the end of this week, it'd be sometime in the middle of next week. And the idea there is simply that at that point in time, once the lower cabinets in it are in, we can get the uh, the countertop company to come in and measure up for our quartz countertops. And so they, they have about a two-week turnover from the time that they order to the time that the countertops come. I've heard it could be as short as a week. So we'll see what happens. Um, so they, they, from here on in, the, the biggest roadblock... Uh, had to do with the electrical wiring and he, here's the part that was really neat about that the electrical inspection took about three hours we expected it to be a couple days until an inspector would come by and take a look at the wiring but because of the pandemic they're doing it all by photograph so this was all open uh, all of the drywall was out and it was all open where the wiring is and the they took photographs that were detailed and sent them to the city uh, inspector and of course the inspector came back within, like I say, about three hours and said, you're good to go. Well, the next thing you knew, the carpenter started the drywall. And, and so this project, what well, we expected to be about a week and a half, almost two weeks of the hard part, you know, uh, working with approvals and stuff like that, uh, took place very quickly once it got rolling. So so there we are. Uh, it, it Now from here on in, you should start to see uh, more visible incremental uh, change every time I do an update. So good talking to you. Bye-bye.